Hi, I'm Nicole Ferraro, Editor-in-Chief of UBM's Future Cities. I'm here at the 2012 Municipal Arts Society Summit, and I was just talking with Richard Kahan, founder and CEO of the Urban Assembly. The first question I asked him was, what's wrong with education in today's cities and how can we overcome it? In the issue of education, like many other issues that are being dealt with today, um, there's an enormous uh, there's an enormous inequity in terms of incomes, disparity. It's probably higher than almost any, certainly than any city in the United States and in many developing uh, world cities. And that affects education. So in effect, we have two systems. We have a system which has money, and that includes a lot of charter schools as well as private schools. And we have a system that is always underfunded, attracts in, in some cases some great teachers and in others not great teachers who can hold on to their jobs forever because of union contract. Um, so it's, it's a different quality um, where people have more money and where people have less. Traditionally, uh, the public has never really decided to pay what it can pay for education. Uh, if you go to a school like Exeter, they're spending $60,000 a kid. Uh, Dalton's spending 40, and we're spending 16 of which nine really comes to the schools themselves. Um, and that is a very unhealthy uh, development because when we talk about an economy, a lot of these kids will not be prepared to participate um, in the economy. The uh, fair um, distribution of uh, infrastructure, uh, negative infrastructure like criminal justice facilities, and that can be planned. Um, transfer, transfer stations, etc. Um, I think the, a big role of the urban planner is going to be to very gradually and very slowly integrate the city. Uh, and then schools will get better because if we're mixing kids who have come from families with some resources and families that don't have any resources, then the likelihood of having the influence necessary to get what the schools need uh, will rise. So I think it's really a question of patterns of living um, that starts with uh, where we're putting housing, where we put certain schools, where we put a lot of things. Um, so I think that's, that's the poverty connection to schools, which is the connection to unemployment. We don't have that diverse an economy. Uh, it's something like 20% of the taxes being generated by 5% of, uh, of the jobs. And it's a great thing that we have the financial industry here, but we're much too reliant on it. And in bad times, uh, it's going to uh, be an enormous problem. Also, they're laying off a lot of people who are not going to find jobs. So what do we do to, to avoid it? Um, I think the answer is a more diverse economy.